Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, I am going to try to help you fix a problem that I'm guessing you're having because you're here. Your sprinkler system has either gotten stuck on, turn off, or turn on by themselves, or they never turn off and they sort of flood your yard. If you're having that problem and you've got the Hunter sprinkler system, I've probably got the fix for you. At least, it worked for me. last one? did this. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> before we get too far in the video, I want to cover a few things with you so you know exactly what you need to do first before we start taking apart the valves. So first thing you want to do is go over to your Hunter sprinkler controls and make sure your system is off. Now, if you're having the same problem that I'm having, once it gets stuck on, turning it off from this control panel does not work. The sprinklers will continue to go. And the reason they'll continue to go is because there's usually something stuck in the valve that won't allow it to close. So we're gonna replace the valves today in hopes that those new valves are a better fit than the original valves, which have probably just worn out by this point. So let's need that off first. So you gotta know where your water shutoff for your sprinkler system is. And here's mine. It's usually gonna be near the perimeter of your property. Uh, and it gives you a spot to be able to physically turn your water off so that the sprinklers can get no more water and that will shut the sprinklers down for you. Now what we're going to be working with are these valves here. So if you've got an in-ground sprinkler system like the one from Hunter, then you're going to have these valves. These containers should be dry and you might actually even be able to see my leak. You see the the drip, so that that consistent drip of water is the valve being stuck. And so it's not closing properly, allowing water to sort of drip out of the valve when um, with the water off, you shouldn't get any drippage out of that valve. Now that we realize we got a leak in specifically this valve, we are going to replace the top portion of this valve. So you've got this portion and this portion that we're gonna replace from the new box we're not going to replace the body of the valve because it's not leaking from the body of the valve and plus that's a little more work having to remove pipes and such so we're just going to undo the top so this is the hunter pgv valve that you'll need to go and pick up once you crack the box open uh, you can pull it out and what we're going to do is we're actually going to unattach uh, the wire, the portion with the wire connected to it because we're not going to replace that. There's already one in the ground. I don't have to worry about uh, splicing or, or tying together wires. We're just going to harness the top part of this valve. All right, so I'm unattaching that part that screws in that has the wires already connected to it. Uh, once I unscrew that, I'm going to actually screw that piece into the new body that we'll be installing because, again, we're not replacing the part that has the wires coming out of it. So here I'm just loosening up the screws that hold the top part of this valve on. Once those screws are loose, you can just take the top part off. Make sure you take all of the pieces, this little ring here, all of that stuff you're gonna end up replacing. So you wanna make sure that you um, keep all of that together. Now from there, you've gotta get your old valve, or at least the top part of the old valve off. So I'm using some towels here to sort of soak up some of the water, although you're going to have a lot of water come out of this thing. You definitely want to have a way to remove some of that water out of the bucket. Uh, but then there's four screws that you need to, to loosen to take off the top part of that valve. So I've loosened up these four screws. Uh, I already removed the top part of the valve, but there is a plug there. So once I got that plug out, you can see water is filling up in that container pretty quickly. Put some tiles in there put a couple of my um, big rags in there that way i can soak up some of the water now i'm going to remove one of my big sponges out and then i'm going to seat the top part of that valve back onto the rest of the body that's already in there and then i'm going to need to tighten it down so because i had some rags i had to make sure the rags weren't in the way of me tightening down the screw uh, and then i just begin to tighten the screws you don't want to over tighten them but you definitely want to make sure that it's snug when you reconnect the top part of this valve 
and that's what I'm doing here just making sure we got a good connection on all four of those screws uh, as we affix the top part of that valve back down and then again just tighten it back up and this is some of that buildup that I was referencing that you will get in the sprinkler system. This is part of the reason why that valve doesn't open and close properly. It's because of buildup like this. And here I'm just removing some of those additional rags that I had inside of the containers to soak up some of that water and trying to remove as much of that water as I can to get a good gauge on whether or not this thing is still leaking. All right, so now I have replaced the top of that valve. I'm gonna turn the water back on at my main shutoff. The way we'll know if it worked is if my sprinklers kick on automatically because again, we got the system set to off, so they should not be coming on right now. So if those sprinklers come on automatically, then that means that a different valve is also stuck and I'll need to replace that one. But it, but for now, I'm just going to uh, to try to test this first one that we did. Up. I can see already that there is a different valve that needs to be changed. Two of them actually. So there's that one and there's that one. All right, so again, one of the ways that you can tell which valve you need to replace is if when you turn it on, you can see down here that there's actually water coming out of that valve where the one that we just replaced uh, there's no active water coming out of the valve. There's still some remaining water down in the bottom, but none coming from the valve itself. So this one is going, and then this one is going. Man, there's so many spiders in here. All right, so I got active water in that one, and I've got active water in that one. So both of those valves are going to need to be replaced. And I can tell that no active water in that one. That one's one that I already replaced, so that one should be good. So just looks like two more, and uh, our sprinkler system should be back up and rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this water back off. All right, so let's recap. What you guys didn't see on camera is I did the same process in this one that I did in this one, replacing the top valve here and putting a new one in there for this last one i didn't have an additional valve here at the house so i just took it off cleaned it out replaced it and tightened it so we're going to turn the water on again and see if uh, we're getting a leak out of either one of these two tubes and if not then momentarily our problem is fixed and i'll just have to go to the store and get a replacement valve for this one when i get a chance but cleaning it out hopefully will get the job done so let's see So this one is still leaking the one that I thought I cleaned so we will need to replace the head on that one. So I just need to go find a new valve for it. Uh, time to go to Lowe's. And go to Lowe's I did. I was able to go and buy a new valve, harness the top portion of the valve like I did earlier in the video, swap it out and fix my leaking situation which ultimately fix my sprinkler staying on situation so if i were you i'd probably pick up a couple that way in case you find that you have more than one that's leaking you won't have to run back to the store as always please like share subscribe hit that notifications button get some alerts find out when we're dropping new videos and if you decide not to like share or subscribe you know what i won't even be mad at you till next time guys Peace.